Hi guys, I'm Shahzad and uh, welcome on our YouTube channel. Please, we gonna discuss about the Eloquent ORM tool in Laravel 10. So, how exactly you can create the Eloquent model and how exactly you can send the data, receive the data or insert the data in the table in Laravel 10. So, let's get started. Okay guys, so uh, now you are familiar with the migrations. So, what happens if you talk about the models we have already discussed that we always keep our models in our models folder so as you can see we have already created the models in our previous lectures but for now we're gonna create the migrations separately and then we're gonna create the models and also the migrations for the each model okay guys so now you are familiar with the migrations so each migrations if you have created the tables by using the migrations each tables belongs to a particular models because you write the objects in the object oriented environment and the database use the relational data schema okay so how they communicate so laravel introduced the eloquent model which interact with the tables out of the box for you let's suppose if you want to insert a particular entry in a particular tables just create a models and that particular model handle each and everything out of the box for you okay so now if if i talk about the columns as you can see we have created the extra column and about us sections now uh, i'm going to publish this repository as a public so you guys can easily get the code and now i am just going to publish this branch as a main branch so now so just open it i will give you the link in the descriptions below so you guys can easily get the code so as you can see this is the laravel 10 globe version since we are working as a globe folder so now we have just published the folder now uh, i'm going to create another branch i'm saying uh, we are creating migrations and also the model proper now i'm going to publish this branch and now i'm working on this branch since we have created the about us as you can see this is the about us and now I'm going to give the similar name which related to the about us. Let's suppose I'm saying company name. And now descriptions, you don't need the email and password. And let's suppose I'm saying city, it's a string. So you don't need, you don't need to specify the, okay, city, that's enough. And now, if I say surname, uh, no, I'm saying a uh, country. Now, so country. Fine. So here, as you can see, this is the by default tables. So now, whenever you create a particular model, you know very well that particular model related to a particular table so here as you can see this is the second model we have created now we are going to create the model for the subject so let's suppose we have the users tables already and now we're going to create the model for the subjects so here i'm saying cls you know very well that you can create the model by using the artisan command php artisan make model and also give you the model's name like i'm saying subject so if you give this instructions the laravel also create the tables which is the subject out of the box for you first of all but you know very well that you are going to create this subject model you need also the migrations then just pass double double or m or i'm saying migration just click on the enter button so now as you can see system already created successfully the model and also the 
migrations so here as you can see this is the model we have created and this is the migrations we have created now i'm saying table i'm saying string and here if you define let's suppose subject name under 100 then what happens i'm saying uh name let's suppose uh if i say class so this is a dummy data you can create anything like this so this is a timestamp i'm saying table and for the deleted at soft deleted i'm using soft deleted column we're going to discuss about the soft delete in our later lectures so now i'm saying class and i'm saying price for the subject now name class or here you can write the semester subject name price and also the class so let's suppose uh, first semester second semester or third semester okay fine so these are the three columns we're going to create two columns three to five and this is six column we're going to create so now what you need just need to create php artisan refresh migrate refresh now you have the error which error it's saying create subject okay this one once again refresh and now you have now created the subject tables the model and also the table name class and also the price so now i'm saying go to the model section since we have created the migrations so now go to the model and here in the model you have to define some few things like table name i'm saying protected table the name of the table you have to give what is the name of the table so this is the table name and also i am saying protected primary key which is the id if i say soft delete that means we are going to use soft delete here you have to define the soft delete soft delete once you define the soft delete the system automatically added the eloquent soft delete here so control z as you can see since we are using the extensions so that's why we only use the soft delete and the system automatically created the soft delete out of the box for us so whenever you delete the particular entity or the tuple the laravel only delete or hide the column basically it's only added the value in this column so now you have this table you have the id you can also use the fillable so if you go to the model which is the user here as you can see they are using the fillable so we ha you have to define the fillable also when you define the fillables for your tables i'm saying name and also the class and the fillable is also the price so if you are not defining the name then definitely whenever you insert the name laravel never give you the access to insert the name column so that's why you have to define the fillable so these are the three columns you have to define the fillables okay now here since this is a subject model so now we're gonna create the subject cls i'm saying php artisan make 
controller and I'm saying subject controller and just click on the enter button so you have the subject controller so here uh, sorry my bad I'm going to delete this one because we're gonna use the controller resource so you have the subject controller you have the index method you have the create method you have a store method and also you have the show method so if you talk about the create method here we gonna create the record for the subject i'm saying subject so since this is the model subject i'm saying uh so as you can see we have added the subject model here i'm saying new uh subject obj object so i'm saying new subject and here if you say subject and now name give the name of the subject column also the three other columns so class so this is the name let's suppose php is the subject class for the beginners and also the price for the php class is let's suppose 200 dollars fine let's change the name so this is the price price and this is the class and i'm saying this is the class for the beginners and also if you are using the orm so you don't need to provide the created and also the updated that will automatically handle these things so i'm saying uh object save that's it you can also wrap up in a uh let's suppose new std sorry it's a subject and you can define or you can check either you have used the you have inserted or not let's suppose i'm saying inserted inserted the subject and you can define the query not inserted the subject or anything you want to write so now in the web i am saying add subject new subject new subject here you have to define the subject controller so make sure this is the controller and now the model the name is create that's why you have to use the name create now give the name let's suppose subject subject name or whatever you are giving the name new subject fine so now copy this so now paste this here insert it so go to the subject sections subject so you have one php beginners and now you have created the subject so here you have created a subject so now why you are doing this here because you have to create the form here you have to use this code here in the store sections so so far we are directly adding or inserting the values but now it's fine you can also show the value here so now you uh, you have a few things you can use the route model binding first of all write your subject model and write the id here now go to the web and you know very well that we have this one 
copy and paste and here i am saying this since this is the id so this is the id and it's the required things and now okay i am using the controller route route controller so this is the id i am saying subject and now i am saying which one this is the show method and now i am saying subject it's a show so now i'm saying subject make sure subject and give the id here so now access the subject with the id and here you have to write that it's working fine So subject, let's suppose one, it's saying working. So now just DD, item. So now as you can see, it's giving you the first one. You don't need to check from the database. So this is the first way. Make sure we always use the route model binding. So this is the route model binding. So your route binding with your model. If you are not doing this you have to use the id like this and uh, now you can use the subject model and i say find and you can give the id here and now you can write same thing my subject and now you can use the dd the item once again fresh both are the same things so here you are adding the extra code let's suppose if you are saying that this is the second since second record is not available so that's why it's showing you the empty i'm going to comment this one so you guys can easily get the code now i'm saying subject i'm using the route model binding and now if i dd both are the same thing you don't need to use if the data is not available it's saying 404 not found you can also check here with the if else if the data is available then you can use the if otherwise you can redirect to anywhere fine so this is the route model finding and now let's suppose you have inserted two records so let's suppose i am saying laravel and here in this time i am saying advance and the price is let's suppose 500 dollars or 500 dollars per now i am saying create or i have to check your subject create it insert it now fresh so this is the second one it's my one so now if you talk about the controller so here since you are using the route model binding so that's why it's showing you the specific one so if you access the ad this one so definitely you have to use the subject and now you can use the find to find the specific or you can use the all which gives you all objects uh, all subjects fine if you really die down to check whether it's working or not since this is the index so that's why i go to the sections and i'm saying route controller a controller i'm saying all subjects or something like this subjects and this is the index method make sure the class is subject and also you have to write the subjects which is the index method so now subjects it's giving you all the subjects make sure it's giving you now the objects if you are saying that 
give me the two array it will give you the array so now refresh the page as you can see you will now have two array let's already depend upon you how you are managing since we are using the object oriented so that's why these are the objects it's giving to you let's suppose if you are saying that for each for each this is the value and now i'm saying as my and now you can use the dd to check what's this what's coming refresh as you can see okay now i'm saying give me the name i'm talking about the subject name go to the page refresh the page it's giving me the subject name and also i'm saying uh, give me the price so you can change the name okay it's not giving the second results i'm saying echo and now it's giving me okay fine wait okay php and also the level now you can use the br to break the row as you can see php and also the level you can also use the price or you can show the price or something like that so you can show all the results like this or you can directly give this object like this it's also working fine even if you want to perform some other kind of actions like uh, where so i'm saying where i'm saying uh name that means i'm talking about the php right where php and now i'm saying get it will give you the object so once again press the page as you can see it's giving you the php if you write the name fine so if you are using the where then definitely it will not going to give you anything because this thing is not available you can also use the order by or any kind of like uh, name equals to this one order by group by we'll discuss about these things in our later lectures once we cover the query builder class so this is the query builder so laravel all also provide you the query builders things but this is the overall scenario or the examples of the models okay guys in this way you can create or manage the eloquent model or insert the data in the tables by using the eloquent model so i hope guys you are enjoying our videos if you think we are doing good thumbs up feel free to share our courses with your friends especially on social networks and please support us and our channel by clicking subscribe button and pressing the bell icon so you never miss any update so thank you for watching